neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30. Oh, man, did he take a hit. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second and seven. Ball on the 36. Makes it to the 47. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. there on the misdirection. That brings him second. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 47. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And they got him. Change of quarterback, Kirby. You got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Knights have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty-three yard line. They'll bring him down at about the forty-five. That makes it second and eight. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First and ten. Ball on the thirty eight. him hard at the 29. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Four. 
He's at the 20. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Slings it. Tackle around the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 14. He's tackled at the two. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Shows some moves and he's in. with the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. They line up to kick this one away. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Knights are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Hands it to the back. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 46. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Taken down at about the 39-yard line. Brought down around the 36-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Knights. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Looking for the corner. The running back gets two on the carry. Here's another third down. And he just gets rid of it. Kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the... 
for the kickoff. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 36. to about the 37-yard line. Call it a game of one yard. That makes it 37. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 32. He's under some heat. On the run, guns it to the back. And they make the stop at the 33. and it's fourth down. We always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. He got hit hard. The Knights offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense, We've seen other receivers make some plays, they're running the football, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense, and who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nice run there. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. the 45. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. From the 45 yard line. First down. Here's the throw and I don't think he got anything on that. So it's complete but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They'll knock him down for a loss. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. They come out in a five-wide set. Man, watch out. 
catch out here. He goes out of bounds at the 42. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's going to air it long. Excellent open field tackle. You know, I think that time, Brad, the defense tipped their hand with the blitz. You could really see the blitz was coming. And when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming, they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense. And when you blitz, you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a, a good offense. From the 26-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And they get the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has a game. That extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. It has the distance, and it's good. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. The Knights lead it 7-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. 
Very close game now as we start the second half. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And they hit him in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. at the 32. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Runs outside for a nice game. the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. yard line. It's second down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. third down now and they're going to need about four. Quickly to the tight end incomplete. It and he's looking for more. Tackle at about the 17 yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Right, 
He's on the run. The 10 slides down. Picks up about nine on the scramble. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's in for the touchdown. to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. They'll go for two in this situation. And they won't get the two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Taken down in the backfield. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. about as well as a defense hoped it would. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. Nice yardage on the run back. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he's taken down at the 40. Quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Panthers lead is five. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Right down, right around the 36-yard line. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team.
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He makes his way to about the 45. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. He'll keep it on the ground again. He's taken down at the 47. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Out of bounds at the 49. That's a game of three. That makes it second and four. the stop at the 30. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. And he is drilled at the 39. Let's it fly. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. That's good for a game of 26 yards. That makes it first and 10. ten. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it out quickly, and he's tackled at the three. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Defense stacked in tight here. Heading for the corner. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. They come out on an empty backfield. They don't get it. That was the right call going for two, but they just couldn't get the job done. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 30, he makes it to the 28-yard line. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second and ten. Ball on the 28. That makes it second and ten. Steps 
out of bounds at the 46 yard line. There's a strike complete. First and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. down and they need to get it inside the 44. at the 30 to the 20 and they finally make the stop at the 11 so we've got a first down after a great running play just throws this one away This is the eighth play of this drive. On play action, he rifles it to the left. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. Unbelievable emotion after that score because now they've got the lead and they know that they can win this game in regulation. And they're looking to get two points here. Under a minute left. Pitch left. He's got the two. An eight-play, 71-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. Yeah, well, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. The score now, 2013. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. The Knights taking their first time out of the half. That'll be a gain of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. And they keep moving the defense back. He goes out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. This might be their last chance, fourth down. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. This is their last opportunity to stay in the game. A big stop by the defense. This game is in the books. And that keeps the drive alive on that fourth down conversion. How about the call there by the offensive coordinator and great execution up front by the offensive line. He zips it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Catches it. Under a minute left in the game. Catches it, and that's all. That 
brings up second and five. Spikes the ball. That'll make it third and five. From the 36 yard line, it's third down. Finds his man, first down. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they got him for a loss. And he stops the clock with a spike. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. He passes it. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. point to be had then this is it to go to overtime he got it we're going to overtime and that's the end of the fourth quarter and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime and we're back ready now for overtime Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 12-yard line, first down. He's got room. Touchdown. Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score. Now we'll see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. Splits the uprights with the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. three yards to get the first here on second down they'll spread the field with five wide fires quickly and he's got his man he's tackled right around the six yard line Just inside the five. Second down. They come out in a goal line set. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They run for the score. Not going to get it. It's fourth down, and they need six to keep the game alive. And he 
was hit immediately. The Knights coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.